I am speaking to you at what I know is an increasingly challenging time. A time of disruption in the life of our country. A disruption that has brought grief to some, financial difficulties to many, and enormous changes to the daily lives of us all. Many people of all faiths and of none are discovering that it presents an opportunity to slow down, pause and reflect in prayer or meditation. Today, once again, many will feel a painful sense of separation from their loved ones. But now as then, we know deep down, we should take comfort that while we may have more still to endure, better days will return. We will be with our friends again. We will be with our families again. We will meet again. But for now, I send my thanks and warmest good wishes to you all. When 